For those of you unfamiliar, which is probably most people on this YouTube channel, I collect a bunch of Bakutech stuff. Bakutech are a Japanese exclusive line of Bakugan, which came out uh, sort of alongside Gundalian Invaders, and then instead of Mectanium Surge, basically. They only came out in Japan. The last ones were released, I think, around 2012? Something along those lines? Anyway, I have a lot. I have one of every mold, which is good enough for my collection. But after Battle Planet appears to be failing hard in the TCG aspect, I have noticed that Bakutech in general have become a lot more popular again. Pretty much getting a second resurgence after spring of 2018. So what I have here is I have a box from Zen Market. Zen Market's a Japanese proxy that you can use. Ignore that. It's a Japanese proxy that you can use to buy off of Yahoo Auctions Japan, Yahoo or Amazon Japan, Rakuten for a little bit, and stuff like that. I got all of these off of Yahoo Auctions Japan. I have used them once before where I got them off of uh, Japanese, where I got one off of Japanese Amazon. So there's something for you. Man, they really get this on there well. Oh boy. So you may be wondering that if I have every Bakutech mold, why did I buy more Bakutech? Well, the answer is simple. There's still stuff I wanted that I didn't get. And I got most of those in this box. Oh, hello. First real indication that it's even from Japan, because this, this FedEx bit all has English letters on it. Anyway, looking at it, we've got... We got this. Of course, this wasn't my first time on Zen Market. However, this is the first package I've actually gotten shipped to me through uh, FedEx Japan. Uh, the other one I had was through EMS that transferred to USPS and cost me about $66. This was straight up FedEx, cost me $30, and got here in two days. Even through all this BS going on. Pretty awesome. Anyway, we have a bunch of stuff here. Let's go over them a little bit, shall we? We have this. This right here is a sealed white sex Tavanel. This was a lotto thing, which you got through a certain uh, Bakuthron stage card. If I can find the picture, I'll put it up here. And there were an unknown amount of these, but enough that I see them an awful lot. And if you want to take a look, it says Sekusu Tabaneru. And then that one, I, I'm not too sure what that says, but I'll, I'll look it up and put it on screen. Uh, this is... It looks like it's still sealed from the original. And I don't plan on opening it. This is going in my sealed collection with my Ventus Pyravian, my Monster Jam Drago truck, some Amiibo, and some other things. That is going in there. And then I do have a bundle of other things to make up for it. I think this one cost me $40. $42, maybe. $4,200 yen, at least. We have a lot of individuals here. A lot. So let's see. What do I have? Alright. This one here is, I think, either... Is this the Dagorotus? I actually don't know. Oh no! This is the Blanchol Kai! Yeah! So, if you guys remember that one I was holding up here, the white one, this is a purple version of that. 
might show them off uh, a little later. I'm not going to use this bag for anything. What am I going to do? All right, yeah, look at that. I didn't even know these pieces were, uh... Oh, they're actual metal. They feel like metal when you put them to your face, at least. Well, all right. Let's check it out. Yeah. Look at that. I've wanted one of these for so long and could never get one. 650 Gs. All right. The crosses are all the same piece, and the feet here are actually metal. Yeah, I love this design. Love it to bits. And you go down there. I'm actually going to set this to autofocus so I don't have to keep readjusting it. This one is a little easier to get into. This is GIF Jinryu Black Buster. This was one that came in a deck with a red and silver Giganreta and a blue blaze Rise Dragoon. Gift and Ryu is a little on the harder side to get, especially if you're going for the uh, for the Lotto exclusive one, <laughs> the one with the silver crosses. I have the uh, the one with the gold crosses from the booster pack, and now I have this guy. It comes with uh, two gold Borg Maesas crosses. So this is complete as is. Love it. This one over here, I think, should be a... Oh, no. Okay. Not the one I was expecting, but I'll take it. This is another white sex Tavanel. So another one of these, except this one, is loose. So, yeah, I have two. <laughs> Not really that big a deal, especially because, man, Zen Market packed these well. Shoot. All done. Yeah, this one has all the uh, standard white pieces to it. Through d various sets, you could get the metal parts for it. I don't think I have any. Oh, yeah, I forgot that one came with that sticker. Get out of here. I want a plane. Ah, it's not coming off well. I mean, what can I expect? It's probably been on there for years. <laughs> All right. There we go. It's a white sex... Ugh. It's a white sex tavernal. It has no attribute. But it still looks nice. Yeah. Now, the reason I got that one is because I wanted to put a Sace Tavanel's metal crosses on it, excuse me, to make a sort of what I call a corrupted Sex Tavanel. And since I didn't want to get the Chimera Sex Tavanel, this is the next thing. I got a spare Sace Tavanel. So let's go put some stuff on here. I like that the uh, crosses for this are kind of worn. Jeez. I'm like losing these crosses. Well, these aren't even crosses. These are soles I'm putting on now. Six convert parts. Each of these Tavanals have six convert parts. The Bakugan with the next most, I believe, is uh, Sanzu Holobus with five. Alright. Look at that sucker. It's a shame he has loose foot syndrome. Why? Shouldn't even be a problem. Come on. Whatever. So yeah. Corrupted Sex Tavanel. 
Nice. The only other Tavanel I have is a rainbow Tavanel, but this is pretty nice. So what I plan to do with this sex Tavanel is I plan to put my current one's plastic crosses on it, just to have the plastic cross to display and then the metal cross one to display as well. Yeah, it's just a basic sex Tavanel. Nothing too special about it. How strong? 640, I think that's how strong my other one is. That should be about the strength of all the white sex Tavanels as well. Yep. I imagine if we open this one, it'd have the same G power. All right, now we're getting into something I'm a little interested in. So one series that also came out after Bakutech was done was called Bakugan Armors. I wasn't too into this. I didn't really care all that much. And then I found this one on sale for about $35. This is the darkest one, Yasha Tagaras. And supposedly this is one of the harder ones to find. Now I do know that the way the armors work is you actually um, can take their bits and bobs off. I don't entirely know how to do that, admittedly. Uh, if I find it out uh, before editing, I'll put a video in right here showing you how to do it. But basically you can take them off and you can change what attribute they are as well as what special ability they have. In Armor's format, you actually don't use ability cards. Now, I do not remember off the top of my head what this means, but I'm actually going to real quick check on that. Come on, MacBook. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so according to this, this is something called Free Select, which lets you basically pick another gate card bonus to add to whatever you've already got. So for this one, I could pick the darkest bonus as well as say the Pyrus bonus if I wanted to. Why wouldn't you unless you were playing in a lowest G wins battle? But if you were doing that, you'd be using Bone Skulls and its gate card. Yeah. Uh, these do have interchangeable souls, but supposedly they're um, smaller than the Bakutech souls, so I'm not going to worry about it. And I don't exactly fit quite right. Next one is a bit of a sad one. This is a, uh, this should be a Dagger Odos. This was the final thing I bought. Talk about really well done. I could barely get that out. Man, it's still wrapped up. Shoot. Not bad. Yeah. There we are. Dagger Odos. Cool. Now you may be wondering, if I have every Baku tech, why did I get one of those? And this is your answer. Because while I was trying to close my Dagger Odos, I actually kinda destroyed it? Uh, focus on my hand. There we go. Yeah. That part's just gone. And my little repair didn't work. So, rest in peace, sweet prince. But you are being put away. The fun thing is, I don't remember how to close this without destroying it again. But if I could take a guess... It's probably... These... And... Don't, don't. Yeah, there we go. That works. All right. We back. All right. Two more items. This one's fun. <laughs> oh, I'm really excited to have this one. This one cost me, I think, $15. And what this is 
is a sealed Keelan Leonis blister. This is what this is Keelan Leonis's first release because they eventually released it in just a box. But this is the blister, and why this is so cool is because that actually feels like it was taped back together. It totally freaking was. This was taped back together. Oh, well, no matter. Anyway, th this is only cool. Okay. This is only cool because it contains a plastic Flare Dragoon cross. Which is basically its plastic cross and was the only way you could get this. The re release only had the metal one. So I love the fact that I have this sealed now. Well, sealed is subjective. I don't know if that was in the listing, but I can't read Japanese, so whatever. <laughs> oh well, too good to pass up in the package. A little bit of damage there, but I never hurt anyone too bad. My sealed, uh, my sealed Moonlit Monoris has a little bit of damage, no big deal. And then we have the only lot I actually purchased. And a lot of this stuff in here, I don't care for. Not one bit. Like, everything in here. No, I don't really care for any of that. Everything in here? No. Don't really care for any of that either. But what I do care about is this bag. Because this has a twin destructor and a hex dragonoid. I'll have to take a look and see, because last I saw this lot was actually had an incomplete Maxis Helios. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's missing a part, and I think it's missing. No, it's got Foxbat. It has uh, Leafram and Spindle, Scrapper and Clogor. Oh, it's missing Fencer. Okay, then. And then I think this is an incomplete Maxis Dragonoid. Three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's missing one part, and it appears to be... Gracchus Hound. And it's got a couple traps. I think this is... I feel like this one would have to be Legionoid. Then that's a tripod. I'm not sure which one. And then a couple extras it's got are a Neo Dragonoid, a Beast Striker, which I didn't know it came with a Beast Striker. I didn't even notice that. And an Ingram. Yeah, these are the ones I want. Up oh, there goes Helios. Yeah. Now, I wanted a tw another Twin Destructor, because the one I have is a little bit wonky. It's a Silver Attribute Twin Destructor with gold accents. This is how it came out in Japan. Ooh, I got a 200G variant. I think, I, I think my other one's a 180. That's pretty nice. And it doesn't exactly work its cannons too well. But now I've got that. The bad boy. Hex Dragonoid. Known here in bits as uh, Vexos Dragonoid. This is just a special coloration of Neo that was Japan only. I think it was released in a blind bag. That makes sense. Let, give me that horn. Give me the horn. Oh, uh, come on. Come on. Ah. Sometimes I hate that I cut my nails today. Yeah. Look at that. What is it? 500? 500. Yeah, that's that's just hard to read, but... Yep. Yeah. Gorgeous. An original color, uh, like a quote, Hex Viper Helios would be nice to have, but... Um, that can wait for a little while. Yeah. And I'll have to see what to do with the other ones. Because again, I don't care much for these. Though I wanna I wanna see the Legionoid. And see if this actually is a Legionoid. Whoa. No, no, never mind. 
I thought it was I thought it was something cool. Oh yeah, it's a Legionoid, all right. Got all these bits to fold up. It's got a Pyrus, Aquas, and Subterra on the inside. Yeah, definitely a Legionoid. Look at all those. And then I want to see the tripod. Ooh, actually, let's try it, El Condor. Yep. The only reason I even figured that out was that. Yeah. Close. Thank you. Anyway, thanks for checking out the cool stuff I got. Peace out.